Good morning. Good morning. We stand at the intersection of Morgan and Fayetteville. But we also stand at the intersection of hope and history. Fifty years after the passage of the Voting Rights Act, fifty years after the Selma to Montgomery March, fifty years after Bloody Sunday, there are those who stand in front of the ballot box and stand between you and your freedom. And they say to us today that we should be content, that we should give up, that we should concede our rights. We in fact say to them that we will not give up, we will not give in, we will not give over, we will stand for our voting rights. Why? Because there's blood, sweat, and tears on the ballot box, and we will stand up for the right to vote. The story is told of a freedom fighter by the name of Medgar Evers. At the end of a difficult and tiring day, he returned to his house, where inside his wife and his children waited for him. As he got out of his car, an assassin took a deer rifle and fired bullets into his life and into his legacy. As he lay dying, his dying words were these, sit me up and let me go. If Medgar ever said then, sit me up, we can stand up now. We can stand for justice. We can stand for righteousness. We can stand for better North Carolina. We can stand for better America. We can stand for the right to vote. This Moral Monday movement, this Forward Together movement, this great leader by the name of Reverend Barber and these great people have all come together today to say in a clear voice that in the firmament of our freedoms, in the constellation of our constitutional rights, there shines the North Star, which is the right